I smell fine, I think. Do I feel like an idiot? Not yet. This is honestly one of the weirdest experiences of my life. Oh, an hour to work, an hour to drive home. I've heard plenty of people say that they practically live in their cars. But for a lot of people in LA, calling their car home is a reality. I wanted to see if I could spend one business week living out of my car. I think either I or James jokingly suggested that what if you know I slept in my car for a week? I was like, hey, that'd make a great episode of Wheelhouse. And we laughed. And uh, I'm not so sure. I'm tired already. I haven't even slept in my car yet. Tonight you start your five day run sleeping in your car. What do you think some challenges are gonna be? Well, the biggest challenge is gonna be the fact that you're sleeping in your car. Logistically, it's really hard. You have to go to the gym to shower. You're not allowed to shower at our house. You're not allowed, or any of our houses. You're not allowed to go to your girlfriend's house. My biggest concern for you is your safety. I don't want you to get murdered. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get murdered either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Katie, do you have any uh, concerns? Pretty concerned that you're gonna stink up our workspace and we work about one foot away from one another, so. Um... Definitely concerned for my nostril sake. So he's doing this because 10,000 people in LA and even more across the country live in their cars and not as an experiment. Some of them have jobs. Yeah. And they have to maintain a normal life without letting on that they live in their cars. No one runs into a wall. He, he becomes a sleepy boy and he gets a little cranky cranky. I think he's gonna be so cranky. Dude, he's gonna be the most cranky. <laughs> I think your, your, your performance at work is gonna go down. Really cranky boy. I resolve to not be a cranky boy, but no promises, honestly. The yeah. more I think about it, this, the harder it's gonna be. You're such a creature of habit. Like, you sit down, you have cookies and milk every day. <laughs> All right, this is Alex. He edits every episode of uh, Wheelhouse. Um, I'm gonna be sleeping in my car this week. How do you think that's gonna go for me? I don't know, Nolan. I got lots of needs. Have you ever? I mean, have I ever slept in my yeah, car? Yeah, have you ever slept in your car? Finals week. Uh, days before uploading Wheelhouse, uh, a week of shooting Wheelhouse, anything related to Wheelhouse, I'm in my car sleeping. Do you have any any pro tips? Hatchback. Folding down uh, back seats. Speed, that's why I got a Speed 3. Okay. I, my, my seats do, my seats actually do fold down in the back. I, I think that's gonna come into play. Mm -hmm. uh, Eddie is my roommate. Um, <laughs> work with Nolan, we get to hang out all the time. Yeah, we're always together. Yeah. What do you think are going to be some challenges of sleeping in my car this week? Getting harassed, getting cold, okay. getting hungry, not showered. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be quieter in the house. Yeah, it is. Kind of rushed packing last night, and I definitely underpacked. Well, if you need a care package or some McDonald's, let me know. Okay, great. The MC Steakhouse. Yep, the MC Steakhouse. <laughs> all right, so it is about... 9.30 now. I think everyone's cleared out of the office. I'm actually getting pretty tired, so I think I'm gonna be able to fall asleep tonight. Got my jacket on. That's kind of all I've got in terms of warmth for tonight, so let's go get my car. My car fits just in there, in between the gate and the Gucci flip-flop, so let's lock her up. Let's not use that take. Oh, This is taking longer than I. One eternity later. I'm safe and sound behind this gate. Home, sweet home. I am gonna sleep in this car. Now, I have to wake up before Felipe gets here. Otherwise, he's gonna know I'm sleeping at the office. So I'm gonna set my alarm for 7.30. All right, night. Uh. First night of sleep, not great if I'm being honest. You know what? I'm gonna sit down on our couch room for a little bit. How about that? I'm shivering. I actually don't feel that bad. Um, I feel pretty good. So, sleepy. Yeah. yeah, I'm not tired at all, no one, yeah. Do I feel like an idiot? Not yet, likely I'll get there. Okay, so it's about five o'clock right now on day two. I do need to take a shower. I smell fine, I think. Wait, Nolan, where are you going, dude? I'm gonna go find a place to park my car and sleep. All right. In my car, tonight, in my car. Later, Nolan. Good luck. Good luck, Nolan. Thanks, Jesse. Like, I don't want this to be a funny video, right? Because it's not really a funny 
topic. Like, the little details that I have to work out are funny. Someone living in their car. It's not funny. I don't know, I think I need to, I need to talk to somebody. I need to talk to like, someone who actually <laughs> helps people, I guess. And see what can be done. Otherwise, this is just kind of pointless. After sleeping in my car, I came here to my friend's place in Hollywood. It's a youth drop-in center for uh, young people experiencing homelessness. So even though my friend's place does serve 12 to 18 year olds, our biggest demographic in terms of age um, is 18 to 24 years old. And within that age group, we have young people who have been homeless for as long as seven years. How many, what, what, how big is the homeless population in LA? The last count was 53,000. According to the same count, about 15,000, which is 25% of the entire homeless population, are living in their cars. The reality is, for a lot of people, is that it's a situation that's hard to get out of. For real, live in your car, but also maintain a job, maintain some sort of way of life, and keep your sanity. We know young people who have full-time really good employment and are still sleeping on the streets. Not because they want to be, but they can't afford a place. So now they're just chasing after, you know, cheap rents like millions of others in Los yeah, Angeles. Right. And so it's not as easy as just getting a job. You're absolutely right. And I think, you know, I think how one escapes homelessness is as individualized as how someone enters it. I, think, I mean, I certainly have taken for granted the ability to like leave work and go somewhere where I can be comfortable. Earlier today I was saying I could do this. I don't think I could. But I mean, if I was in that position, what other choice would I have? I'd for sure try to get a bigger car. I am heading to a park on in uh, West LA. This looks like a nice spot right here. I like this, this is good. Right about here. This is honestly one of the weirdest experiences of my life. Honestly, I feel like I'm kind of intruding on people's community here. I, I have to rearrange my car. I need to make a lot more room. A ton of stuff in my trunk. I should have taken care of that, honestly. I'm not the most prepared guy, so I apologize for that. Why do I do these things? I think I can do it. A few moments later. Oh my god. This is by far the dumbest thing. How did I think this was gonna work? I thought this was gonna work. This is gonna be a long week. Update, I've kind of found a position that works. It's really not comfortable. All right, I'm gonna try to sleep. I'll update you if I can. Oh my God. Look how big I am in this car. I just look like an ogre in the back seat of this car. I actually don't think I smell bad. Although I still wanna take a shower. Gotta say, after that workout, I feel way better than I did when I woke up this morning. I'm willing to bet that when five o'clock comes around, I'm gonna be hurting. I'm thinking that if I still had my Honda Passport, this challenge would be a lot easier because I've actually, I oh slept God, in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back in the day when I had my passport, I definitely spent a few nights in the back after Wait. partying a few, <laughs> a little too hard. It's fine. Mustang's not the case though. Did you take a shower at the gym yesterday? Not yesterday, but today I did. Dude, what's with old guys and just hanging out butt naked in the locker room? You don't care when you're older. I That's guess. The whole point of getting older. I worked at a gym where a guy, he put a towel out on the counter and then he'd prop one of the hair dryers so it would be on and then he would comb his own hair totally <laughs> nude with his, everything out as the hair dryer like dried his body hair. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Just forcing everyone to gaze upon his... Do you want to think know. more about his balls yeah. now? <laughs> I hope this makes the cut. I wish I was sleeping in this tonight. Looks comfy as hell, look at that thing. I kind of forgot about it and then I walked up next to her and I was like, ah, oh, man, he's sleeping in that thing for a week? <laughs> Drive safe, please. Oh. somewhere safe, please. All right, I will. <laughs> Remember when I said the rain wasn't coming down? I was wrong about that. Neck pillow, got my sleeping bag. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Uh. Oh, it's supposed to wake me up. That jambalaya I had yesterday for lunch. It's creeping up on me, I can feel it. It's an unnecessary detail. The gym was too far, I had to stop to use the restroom. And you know, it's like, 
and you're waiting on other people, some other guy was in there, and it's like, man, I don't have to wait for this when I'm at my house, I can just go. A lot of your life becomes dependent on other people like that. There's just certain things that you want to have your own of, so you can do whatever you want to do when you want to. And the restroom is definitely not one of those things that you want to give away willy-nilly. It's very important. You know, this could be you. This could be one paycheck makes the difference between you and that person that's on the street or that person that's receiving services somewhere. And it seems insignificant, but if everyone started to kind of change their point of view, that would lead to something pretty great. The experience has been pretty eye-opening. Very thankful for my apartment. <clears throat> I'm a little kitty cat. I don't like water. What am I saying? If your car is disorganized, then your life is disorganized, so I gotta take care of this. My socks are wet. Everything's freaking wet, man. It's only a week. You know, I'm in the privileged position to know that I have a light at the end of the tunnel. But, man, is it uncomfortable. I don't really know where I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm not gonna bust my sleeping bag out, even though it's probably the right move. I'm just gonna put my jacket over me so it doesn't look like I'm sleeping in my car. I mean, it'll look like I'm sleeping in my car, but it won't look like I'm living out of my car, which is key. One of their survival skills is to make themselves invisible. Yeah. Um, so to avoid this intense stigma. That makes sense. The so one pretty cool initiative is called Safe Parking Los Angeles. And this is intended to give um, homeless individuals who are sleeping in their cars 12 hours of safe, secure parking, including restrooms and a security guard. I think right now um, there's, there's only one. That's, that's really cool though. All right, let's get this sleep, family. I don't know why I said that. See you in the morning. 5.43. I did not sleep at all. I guess I'm gonna head to the office because I have nothing else to do. My mind is just like, I feel static in my head. Nolan, last night, dude. Are you excited for it? No, I'm not. Last night was the last night. I'm you done. It? That was one business week. I'm good. You know what? I, I had a dream last night. Uh -huh. You want to know what it was about? What was it? I was walking around past the shop. I see a dog on fire. <laughs> runs into the shop. I don't know where the dog goes, but something tells me that I am that dog. <laughs> and I feel like I'm on fire. Do you know what it's like, Zach? Do you go to the office at 5.30? I actually we start at 10 around here. I just hung out. <laughs> it's a week later since I've slept in my car. My beard's gone. And at this point in the video, I feel like all I've done is complain. So I am gonna interview my friend, Natalie. She lived in her car with her mom for 10 months. I think she's gonna have a lot more insight into living in your car than I would in one week. So let's talk to her. What were the big adjustments that you had to make? Suck to have to fill in your time. Cause usually, yeah, you're tired from work and you wanna relax and you really can't. You're, you're on all the time and you're in survival mode all the time. I'm still striving. We're still up every day going to work and doing what we got to do. Mm. Um, there's no excuse. Waking up to going to work, what was the mental transition like from going from survival mode to work mode and trying not to let the two overlap? To be honest, I think I don't think there was ever really a switch. Uh, so I just made it an extra job. You know what I mean? When when you're low, I feel like the best thing you can ever do is is flip it. And and it's not easy. It's it's real uh, mental. <laughs> you really got to sit with yourself and know what kind of person you are. I think once you figure out who you are as an individual, you fight for that. And even whenever it's tough, you don't give up. Mm. <laughs> You know. If you want to help out the less fortunate, there's a lot of easy ways to do so. First is to find a local homeless resource in your area and donate some clothes. You can also volunteer. I'm going to be helping out with the 2019 homeless count in January. And if you want to join me, I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up. I'll be helping out with the West LA count. Big, big thank you to Jeff and Aaron at my friend's place. 
Uh, also, big thank you to Natalie. All of them took time out of their schedules to really help me get a perspective on this issue and it's really opened my eyes. So thank you guys a lot. We look at the issues in the car world that affect you, so hit that yellow subscribe button right here. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up next year. Check out this episode of Up to Speed and this episode of Science Garage. Uh, check us out on Reddit at r slash donut media. Follow me on Instagram at Nolan J Sykes. Follow donut at donut media. Uh, be nice, I'll see you next time.